Welcome to Tech Notice, my friends. So you're looking to build yourself a small form factor PC and you're looking at the motherboards and here I have another one for you. So we're going to be looking at the new B660 chipset. Try to say that after me because it's quite hard to say B660. Not natural because it's new. B660. Now here's the thing. This could have been an absolutely awesome motherboard yet I think there is one big problem. Let's talk. Deep, deep up in my feelings. So if you're a creator maybe and you're not familiar what is the chipset, what's going on over here, B660, what does this mean? I've never seen this before. So if you're familiar with the AMD chipsets, you know, we have the X570 and then B550. So this is B550 and then X570, high end board and then a little bit lower board. The same thing is with the Intel system. So this new B660 is like a step down from the Z690, which is the flagship chipset, flagship chipset wow so that out of the way let's have a look at this one here this is the rog strix b660i gaming wi-fi motherboard the i over here means it's mini itx but this also has the z690 available so that's interesting first of all we have the motherboard it's a tiny little thing these mini ITX boards are so cute. Obviously, we have the user manual. Very helpful, as always. We have the ASUS Wi-Fi antenna, which has a magnet on the back. I'm a big fan of these. I think these work absolutely great. They're in one piece. You know, you can adjust the angle, everything. We have two SATA cables over here. One has an angle end in one end, and one is just a straight SATA cable. We have this front panel header extension. So basically you can plug this in the motherboard. If you want to have the front panel connected a little bit more in a convenient place, then this is a very helpful cable. Now this one is basically a USB 2 header splitter. So the USB 2 header that is on the motherboard, you can get two USB two headers out of it if you want to. We have a small little M.2 standoff and the M.2 screw. And there's another one of those. We have some small zip ties, or as The Verge likes to call them, tweezers. Then we have this really funny thing. There's like a little metal bracket type of thing and a little screw. I can't figure out where does this one go yet. It's somewhere to like hold on a, a cable or something that goes through this hall. I'm not sure where this one goes. Then there is one ROG key ring with the ROG badge. We have a DVD with the installation stuff on. I'm not sure why we have this. We should have a USB stick for this. We have a nice little message from ROG. Some more literature and stuff and some stickers. Okay then, let's have a look at this motherboard. First of all, design-wise, it's very like blingy. There's some very gamer design over here, like some emojis. We've got the Republic of Gamers, some like stuff written over here, some stuff over here, Game On over here. I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of this and maybe you let me know. We've got some heat sinks over here, VRM heat sinks on top here and this on the side here, the IO cover is also a heatsink. So in the middle here, we have the LGA 1700 socket. And as you can see around here with all of the ASUS boards, we have two socket holes. We have the LGA 1700 and 1200 socket holes. So you can use some of your older coolers if you wanted to, to cool this chip down if you don't have the LGA 1700 mounting hardware yet. And then we have two DIMM slots over here. These are DDR5, not DDR4. But let's have a look at the headers around and then see what we have. We have an 8-pin EPS power over here for the CPU. We have three PWM connectors, one, two, three over here. The very right one over here is labeled as the AIO pump header, and that one's gonna run all the time at 100% of the speeds. The other two on the left are configurable from the BIOS, and they all have the same rating at one ampere and 24 watts. Then we have some RGB headers, five volt and 12 volt. 24 pin ATX power. We have some front panel headers over here. Then we have a front panel USB-C header, which is five gigabits in speed. And interestingly enough, usually this is the other way around on the motherboard. So the USB-C header is faster than the USB type A, but this USB type A port over here is 10 gigabits in speed, which is very interesting. Then we have four SATA ports over here. Then on the bottom over here, we have a PCIe slot. This is a full by 16 slot PCIe 5.0 slot. I don't think there's a single piece of hardware that can actually utilize the PCIe 5.0, but hey, it's capable of doing that. 
but also it's backwards compatible. Then above this PCI slot, we have the USB 2.0 header over there and you can split it into two with the cable I showed you in there. So if you just plug it in there, boom, you can get two headers if you want to. Then on the top over here, these two prongs are clear seamless. And then underneath those four headers with one of them missing is a SPDIF out header. And then on the very left, the last header over here is the front panel audio. Now let's have a look at the M.2 slots. So we have this small little heatsink. Interesting thing is we have the thermal pads on both sides of the M.2, which is very, very good. But underneath this M.2 is also the chipset. So as well as being the M.2 like kind of heatsink, it's also the chipset heatsink. So these components are gonna run a little bit warmer over there than the other ones. This is 80 millimeters in size, so if you want to put any of the longer ones in here, that can not happen. But the good thing is there is actually two M.2 slots. Both of them are PCA 4.0 capable. Obviously, this slot over here is from the CPU, but then on the other side of the motherboard, there is another M.2 slot if you want to plug anything in. This is PCIe 4.0 as well, and this comes from the chipset, but in here, you can have a longer one as well. So if you want to have like one of those Intel Optane sticks that are 110 millimeters, then you should be able to fit that in there as well. Now the IO of the motherboard. We have a display port and HDMI port out. We have three USB 2.0 type A ports. Now these blue USB type A ports and then this USB C on the bottom over here are 10 gigabits in speed rated. We have a LAN port over here. This is 2.5 gigabits in speed. Then we have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth antennas over here. It's interesting it says Wi-Fi 6 over here and all the manual says Wi-Fi 6, but on the box it says Wi-Fi 6E because I can't see the official listing online at the moment. I'm curious if this is Wi-Fi 6 or Wi-Fi 6 because there's a little bit of confusing stuff happening over here. So this is USB 3.2 Gen 2 X2 slot, which is 20 gigabits in speed, very confusing. And then you have your audio inputs outputs over here. So, so far you might be thinking, flipping heck, this looks like quite a good motherboard. And I think I'd have to agree with you apart from one fact, which is the DDR5 slots. Now, this board could have been much better if it was DDR4 because this is, you know, a little bit more to the budget side, right? It's not Z690 chipset. It's meant to be a little bit more affordable, yet the DDR5 sticks are not affordable. And I think this is a mistake and having these at DDR4 would have been much better. But hey, you live and learn, I guess. So who's going to learn? Who's going to live? I guess I'm going to live and Asus is going to learn. Yeah. Also, the power phases over here are 8 plus 1 power phase, which is slightly lower than the Z690 chipset on this same motherboard, which is 10 plus 1 on the ITX. As you can see, these transistors on the side over there, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then there's two missing. I think they literally just left these two unsoldered because that's going to be the Z690 chipset or something like that and I think this is the plus one over here. So do you agree with me with the DDR4, DDR5 comment? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Likes if you enjoyed it, subs if you'd like to see more and oh one more thing. If you want to check out the latest pricing of this I'm going to leave it linked in the description below. Thanks guys for watching. See you soon.